There are several ways of inserting the scope into the anus, either supporting with the fingertip and gently inserting, or alternatively doing a digital examination and then, as the finger withdraws, pushing the endoscope in alongside it. The endoscopist removes the extra glove that's already in position. An alternative approach is to put jelly onto the anus and simply to insert directly through the jelly, insufflating as the instrument inserts. Once in the rectum, continue insufflating, irrigate the lens and then, as the rectum blows up, angulate and twist to find the lumen, then steer in around the folds. In the single-handed technique, the right hand holds the shaft of the instrument whereas the left hand manages the angulation controls and the valves. The left hand is constantly active, but only two fingers hold the control body, keeping one finger for the air and suction valves. Using two fingers to do this is a mistake, because the middle finger should be kept as a helper to the thumb, especially for full up-down angulation. Most people can stretch the thumb across to the lateral control, at least for small movements. But mostly, up-down angulation, coupled with torque, twisting the shaft, is what's used for colonoscopy steering. Try the exercise of control knob angulation fully up and fully down many times, the middle finger helping the thumb. If the middle finger isn't available, this manoeuvre is either impossible or very difficult. Working single-handedly, the right hand holds the shaft in a gauze or towel for hygiene and so that the fingers can apply twist. Using the fist is much more ungainly, less effective and loses the feel and delicacy of finger grip. For two-handed technique, it helps to position the patient near the edge of the cart or trolley. The reason for this is so that when the endoscope is inserted, the shaft can be allowed to hang down and the endoscopist can wedge it in position with the thigh whilst using the right hand for angulation, for instance, here to the right. When steering like this, the brake can be used to hold the angulation, or the thumb can reach across and hold the angulation control. The assistant may, from time to time, hold the shaft while the endoscopist steers,